This house has an enormous underground cavern, kind of like a bat cave. Some people call this the bat cave house. It goes all the way down there and then has like a secret laboratory down in that direction. And it's really cool. Um, so let's go look around here. Uh... Welcome back, everybody, to War As You Can. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to have a hell of a lot of fun and continue our adventure uh, here in this awesome, awesome overhaul. Uh, the plan for today is to 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 um, finish clearing the house. Um, in fact, we have already actually cleared the house proper, uh, but we have um, a secret, a very large, in fact, secret area that we have to take care of, which we're going to do. That's our main goal for today. But before we do that... Um, couple things we have um storage set up now so if you're curious this is smelting stuff this is ammunition this is going to be weapons this is tools this is blueprints paper schematics books that sort of thing uh stuff to sell clothing uh parts for tools and weapons general parts resources over here we've got beverages and containers prepared food medical and finally unprepared food or raw food so that's where we at with all that stuff okay so uh first thing i want to do is i want to run back over to our original place because we have some stuff over there that i want to bring back here but we actually should probably lighten up a little bit first because i think we have quite a bit of stuff over there so let's see here um let's just go into this crate for the moment um and we want to we don't i don't think we need that we don't need to bring these uh, we shouldn't need the wood. Uh, we do want to bring some stone to distract zomboids, but we don't have to bring that much stone, though. I don't think the weight actually matters. I think it's just slot-based. Uh, we don't need those bandages or those pills uh, because we have these down here, and we don't need the water for the moment. So that, that gives us a little more space, but we are taking our ammunition with us, of course, um, and some ladders. We don't need the shovel, so let's leave the shovel in here, too. Okay, let's run over there and grab that stuff really quick, and then uh, we'll bring it back here and get all situated. I also want to uh, build a forge, too. We should have everything we need for that, but we'll do that when we get back. So let's see here. What do we got going on in here? We have a deer. Um, any chance we can miss that deer? Yeah, there's a really good chance that you can miss that deer. Oh, man, the drop on this primitive bow sucks so bad. All right, screw it. Let's just go. I'm wasting arrows. Uh, we'll worry about the deer later. We're, we're not doing too bad on food. We've got a lot of canned food, a little bit of meat uh, from that wolf that tried to rush us the other night. So we should be in pretty good shape. I don't see any zomboids out here trying to edit us. Let's jump up here. Jump up here. And we woke somebody up, but I don't really care. And we're just going to go in here, uh, grab all of this stuff and head on back. Um, that zombie that we woke up, she's probably inside of here, so we don't need to worry about her right now. And let's skedaddle. Head on back, head on back to the ranch. Yeah, so we have enough stuff to make a um, uh, smelter, furnace, forge. I get mixed up between the games, because uh, some games call them different things been playing a lot of uh, Osiris New Dawn experimental and really enjoying it. Um, if you guys haven't uh, seen that game uh, or if you haven't seen it since they've made the changes to it, um, check it out. Uh, check it out on the channel or at least watch somebody play it because, or play it yourself if you have it because it's really good. Um, it still has a lot of issues, but they're working on it. The devs are actually working quite hard on it. And uh, that game, if they keep going, that game's going to turn into a really good, good sci-fi space game, survival game. Okay, anyway, um, let's see. So we want to make the forge. Uh, so we're going to need uh, tape, we're going to need leather, we're going to need pipes, we're going to need clay, and uh, stone, which we already have. I think that's everything we need for the forge. Let's take a look and see if I missed anything. I did not. So we're going to craft up a forge. Uh, once we get that set up, I'm going to just set it in the corner here and then get started making um, uh, or smelting iron or, or feeding iron into the forge is what I'm trying to say. But we have 16 feathers too, so we're going to make... Uh, 16 iron arrowheads uh, so we have a total of 20 and that way we can take that with us so while i'm waiting on that i'm going to put all this other stuff away i'll bring you guys back when we're ready to head on back up to the attic we have a lot of bookcases 
too that we want to check and hopefully we'll get some great schematics from those so i'll see you guys uh, up in the attic All right, let's go. Let's go do this. Uh, last night I cleared uh, this, some area out up here, uh, cleaned it up a little bit, I broke through this door. This was like a, a reinforced barricaded door. And there's more work to do up here, more garbage and stuff to clean up. But um, again, that's kind of off-camera stuff. Oh, look at this. What in the hell? Oh, bottle caps. We need that for bottle cap mines uh, at least. And maybe they're used for other things too. And then look at this. We got a book. 10% uh, more damage to coyotes. Okay. Uh, if we ever go out into the desert, that might come in handy. Okay, so let's go through here and head up to the attic. Okay, so this place is cleared. Um, we didn't actually go back here, but there's no zombies back here either, so we're good to go for that. All right, let's go ahead and uh, start looting uh, the bookshelves, bookcases, whatever, and see uh, what all we get from them, and uh, hopefully we'll get some good stuff here. All right, guys, that is it for looting the attic, except for uh, we do have uh, the secret that's above the master bedroom. So let's hop up there and grab that really quick. So this is that uh, Shaka Messiah box that I was talking about um, in yesterday's episode when I was down there in the master bedroom and, and we looked up through the ceiling. So this is how you get to it. Let's see what's inside of here. Nice. Um, we're not necessarily going to wear that yet, just because it's going to make us noisy uh, and slow us down a little bit. But we are going to keep it. Usually I, w I won't switch to, to armor until I have like a full set and we're ready to, you know, to start going head to head, which we're not quite yet. We will be, but we're not quite yet. All right, I'll come back up here later with a shovel and grab uh, all this cobbling stuff. Uh, that's off-camera stuff there. All right, I'm going to run back down and just drop off all of this stuff. We did find some cool things, including uh, the 50 caliber Desert Eagle pistol, which is fan freaking fantastic. I also found the HD workbench schematic. We should look at that and see if that's something I can actually make right now, because if we can, we might not have to put more points into intellect for now. Uh, let's take a quick look at that. So if we go here to workbench... Uh, HD workbench. So we need forged iron, mechanical parts, polymers, and springs. Ladies and gentlemen, we might actually be able to make this right now. Um, I don't know if I have 25 mechanical parts, though. I only have six. One thing I did notice, though, is that you can actually loot the air conditioners. They actually have parts in them, which is really cool. Um, so, yeah. So we can, we actually can make it. We just have to come up with some mechanical parts. So again, um, potentially off-camera stuff, uh, you know, for us to do later. Okay, 
So any of these schematics that we've already read that are vanilla schematics, we're just going to sell. But of course, the ones that are the, the moth schematics, we can scrap for blueprints, which I'm imagine, you know, I imagine we can use to do something with later on. So I'm going to put all this stuff away. I'll meet you guys back up at the attic uh, to the entrance to the, the dungeon. Okay, see you guys in just a bit. All right, guys, let's go ahead and proceed. So, oh, shite. Didn't mean to do that. We are very fortunate that we didn't just break our leg. Um, There is a, a hidden stash way up there that I didn't mean to bypass. Um, so let's see if we can get back up there. That Yeah, that, <laughs> that could have been bad. I think we could probably just nerd pull uh, straight on up this way to get to it. Uh, yep, we should be okay. I just want to make sure my head's not going to hit something and knock us off the thing. Okay, secret hidden stash up here. What do we got? Oh, nice. We got some M. Yonition. There isn't anything else up here. Um, you can go out there, but it just goes up on the roof. Well, I don't think so. Let's let's double check that. I don't remember for absolute sure. But I don't think there's anything over there. Let's jump over to here. So, yeah, we're kind of up on the little tower thing. There's a chimney there. Some broken parts to the roof. But nothing around this way. And then if we go up here, there's like, yeah, kind of like the weather vane thing up there, but... I don't think there's anything else up here. Pretty sure that is it. Pretty sure that's it. Okay, so let's head on back down uh, to here. This ledge. A little parkour action. And yeah, so that is it for up here. And now we go down. Okay, so um, I'm trying to remember. We, we do not want to break our leg. We just don't want that to happen for what I hope are obvious reasons. So we should be able to go down this way. Oh, we got somebody's attention. I don't think she can get up here, though. Okay, so she's a 125 hit point lab assistant. Um, All right, how do we... Gonna, how are we going to deal with her? Can she get back up in the thing if we fall down there? We could try and soften her up a little bit with some arrows, I guess. I don't want to use the shotgun yet because it's just going to make so much noise, you know. These arrows are not doing a whole lot of damage to her. Okay, let's just uh, go down with this and see if we can... Play whack-a-mole. Where'd you go, lady? Oh, she's over here. Can we hit her in the legs? Yeah, looks like we can. Give me my arrow back, too, by the way. Please. I kind of don't... There, okay. I don't want to hit the side of this and make a bunch of extra noise because, you know, we'll wake up sleepies. Alright, so what we're going to do here is... We're going to make a bunch of extra noise. That didn't work so well. Um, can we put a ladder here? Oh, I wonder if it's because the hatch is upside down. Yeah. Uh, could we put a frame? Yeah, I don't. I don't know if we. We might not be able to get back up there. 
<laughs> we might not be able to get back up there. Uh, and we don't need to get back up there in terms of ultimately getting out of the place. But, you know, if we get rushed is what I was thinking. Now, this might be a bit of a thing to try and block, too, because of the use of half blocks. Hmm. All right. We're going to just have to really be careful here, you guys. What we could do, actually, now that I think about it, though. Hmm. Would they be able to get through there? I don't know. I it's it's hard to say. It really is hard to say. Um tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna put a flagstone down there. And I don't I just don't remember if there's zombies right up in this immediate area. But we're gonna put that there. Um and we'll keep a frame there and you know we'll just see if it works or not uh so if, if they aggro us to see if they can get through here or not i don't know if they'll be able to or not so we'll deal we'll deal with it as things go along so anyway for those of you who have not seen this poi before this house has an enormous underground cavern, kind of like a bat cave. Some people call this the bat cave house. It goes all the way down there and then has like a secret laboratory down in that direction. And it's really cool. Um, so let's go look around here. Uh, all right. Well, we kind of had to do that, didn't we? Okay. It doesn't look like she can get through there. So, yeah, okay, good. So th this is great, because this is a good fighting area. If you're going to just be stupid and stand there, then I'm going to whack you on the head. You could just go around. Okay, anyway, good news is, like I said, um, oh, shit, I didn't bring any cobble down here. How in the hell did I not bring any cobble down here? Uh... Not good. Okay, we hmm. we might have to see if we can get some more. This is all sand, so we won't get any clay from it. That was weird, man. Her because her sound was coming from back in that corner, but she was right here. I'm like, going, what in the hell's going on? Uh, okay, well, anyway, we'll leave that there for the moment. And yeah, <laughs> I was not expecting two Zekers be standing there. I'm like, going, oh shit. Okay, so I don't think there's anything in here, but there are, is some loot skis over there. But the only way to get to it is either to, uh, like, make a little frame bridge across, which is what we'll probably do. Because uh, I don't think we can get to it from here, I don't think. Let's just look. Yeah, see, uh, can we? Oh, I guess we can scooch up there. Never mind. Don't know what the hell I'm talking about. And there's some cobble right there for us, too. Um, okay, getting down here might be tricky. Because I can't put um, a frame down through there, so... There. There aren't any Zeeks up here, are there? No, because there's, there's a, like a drop-off there. Okay, cool. So this is great, because now we have some cobblestone. Not a whole lot, but a little bit, just to do repairs. And we have a chamois box, so let's open that up and see what's inside. Two shams, good deal. Might as well grab this stuff whilst we're here. And okay, good to go. Um, now, do we want to try and get back up there? Yeah, I think I think I want to. Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, we could bridge over to there, but let's let's see if we can go the proper way without falling here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, we're lucky. <laughs> Quick, put it right there. Oh man, that was lucky. Okay. Yeah, when you when you jump and your head hits something, the game tries to push you off. It's a uh, Okay, now we have actually have a safety frame down there. Oh, shit. Okay, so um, here, let's do two safety frames. Yeah, I thought I was going all the way to the bottom there for a minute. 
Okay, can we just scoop up here? There we go. <laughs> All right, let's get our frames back, or at least the ones we can reach. Yeah, okay, we'll just leave those there. Um, now there, yeah, we should be able to drop back down there. Whew, okay. Ah, breathe easy, breathe easy, breathe easy. Okay, let's get this upgraded, and we will retreat back up to here and plop down another flagstone uh, if we get rushed. So, yeah, let's go. And this this is very stout. You know, I think that's 10,000 hit point steel, so we don't have any problem. Won't have any problem with that. So let's go down this way. We might not get any sleepers till we get to the door anyways, and I just don't remember for sure, so... We'll check these out. Paper and plastic. Another uh, tactic that we could potentially use is we could break this bridge, but I'd rather bring them all the way up there so we can bonk them, because if we break the bridge, we're not going to be able to reach them. But we could just actually set up... Um, a defense with this door too. So we got options. We got options basically. All right, let's go in here quietly. Okay, so we got a scientist zombo there. For her, I think we're just going to put a frame down and just upgrade it one level and then. the hell did she hit me? Yeah, she tagged me, man. And we have a nice, a nice little area with brick all around it too, to uh, defend. So. We're doing good. We probably don't even know, need to go back up to that top area. Unless unless this gets overrun. So we got a bunch of control stuff in here that we could later on take apart for electrical parts and stuff if we felt the need. Okay, she did. And now we're to the next door. So we're making good progress. Uh, we don't want the... I don't think we want any of that stuff. I'm going to hang on to it for now. But uh, we got the mining helmet for the hat and the running shoes. So we're going to keep that stuff. Okay, so I think there's probably a secret or something down here if I remember right. I don't know if there's any Zeeks down there, though. Let's make sure this upper area is clear first. Alright, so we just got somebody's attention. Are they coming from that way or from down below? All right, not really sure. So let's let's go look down here. Sounds like just one zombo. So we should be able to handle that. I'm thinking. Oh, there's some ammunition over there. All right, so we want to go this way. Nice. Uh, so we got uh, Desert Eagle 50s, and we got 500 Auto Max. And I am so stoked to uh, to check out all the all the cool weapons in the game. All right, I don't think we can get over there. We have to get over to that section some other way. So let's jump back up here. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Let's open this door. We've got a couple of hazmat guys. Um, I'm going to start with one upgraded wood block but if we get rushed I might upgrade it all the way to cobble a 
Okay, so let's just see how we can do here. We don't, we don't want these guys to tag us because they can give us um, instant stage 2 infection. Oh, you're a different hazmat, Zombo. Female something or other, 01 TSBX. <laughs> We're just going to call her hazmat female. Off with your head. Okay, um, that wasn't too bad. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Rat in the noggin. Almost. Well, no, we didn't almost kill her, but we got put the hurt on her anyway. We did take that first shot in uh, the sneak attack skill. Okay, is there anybody else in here? How many shotgun shells do we have? We have 195. Almost want to kind of see if we can pull any more. Eh... Nah, let's not. Let's just proceed. We can still always retreat back here and put down another frame if we need to. Okay, I need to eat. And we actually had a couple points, too. Let's look at those. Have a couple cans of sham. Let's just put both of those down right now. Our hydration is not in bad shape, so we're just we're going to leave that the way it is for the moment. I hope we come across one of these with some shotgun shells in it. That would be nice. All right, so points. Yeah, let's look at points. We have four points available. Okay, let's just keep focusing on strength for now. Uh, because we have the cigar, we now have an effect of six points. So let's give ourselves an effect of seven points, and we can boomstick and pummel peat. And there we go. Look at us on our bad selves. All right, so we're at level three shotguns and pummel peat. Not bad. Not bad for how early on in the game we currently are. Okay, let's get this out. Oh, look at you. Look at you, Mr. Magoo. Come at me, bruh. You dead. Ever so quietly. Come on down into the boiler room. All right, so that goes down to the main floor. Before we go down there, though, let's go uh, into this back area. So that's where we were before, and this is where we saw the other ammo pile. Uh, 762 with a red tip, which I think means that it's hollow points. Oh, no, we can... Oh, neat. We can choose whichever one we want. That's cool. Okay, well, we don't have a 762 weapon yet, so I'm sure we'll come across one eventually. Okay, that's it for back there. Let's head on down through here. Now, things could get a little interesting through here. So I want to actually consider something. So if we if we have to run back up this way, we could run up here and jump this way to go back up and use that door as a barricade. Okay. So that's the plan if we end up needing to do it. Oh, you know what, though? I don't think the Zeeks can get up here at all. So, but we can. We can just nerd pull up. Nice. Okay. Yeah, that works. Okay. So let's just leave one 
frame there um, to get back up there if uh, if we need to retreat. Now, uh, let's go. I can't remember if there's Zeke's in that building or not. I think there is, but I can't remember for sure. So, what's going to be the baddie that we have to deal with? Looks like it's a biker. Okay, that's not too bad. <clears throat> Usually there's like an, a really nasty irradiated Zeke in there, but because we're, you know, we, we're such early game stages, I think the game's going easy on us. Okay, let's go up here. That's where we were earlier. I, I missed a, a gas can up there too. We'll have to check that, but we can do that later. No Zombos in here, huh? Interesting. Okay, let's check the ammo pile. Oh, look at that. We got two things of shotgun slugs and some 45s and a green sledgehammer. That's some good stuff, man. All right, so even if we run out of normal shotgun shells, we now have some slugs that we can use. Very, very useful. Okay, we are a bit heavy, so I'm going to actually drop a few things off in here. Let's drop off all of the amu ammunition boxes for now. Uh, we'll drop off the blunderbuss and the 7.62s and the sledgehammer. All of that stuff. And there you go. Okay, so that, that's good. Now, what can I sit down here? This door frame is in the way, so we're going to have to remove this because this is where we're going to make our final stand here. Okay, guys, I removed all that stuff out of the way, so now we can put a block down there. And um, let's go ahead and finish up our clear of this enormous place. So let's see. We're going to get rushed by the biker zombie, of course, but... I believe there's also going to be other Zikaroos in here too. So let's open this. Oh my god, that's a lot. Alright, so they're all banging on that door. Hmm. Yeah, my, my mixer board is, is backwards. Left is in right, and right's in left. Oh, I bet you I know how to fix that. Hold on one sec. There we go. I just had the cables <clears throat> backwards. Oh, uh, that's better. <laughs> okay, it was like freaking me out. All right, how many Zeeks have we aggroed? There's not... I haven't aggroed the whole bunch of them. Is it just one? Yeah, it's just Ronnie McDonnie. Okay. Um, let's see if we can soften him up a little bit. Well, we just got the attention of two now. Okay. Um, How do we want to play this? What I think we're going to do... Is, oh, I can't block that, can I? Oh, I can do this. Okay. I just want to buy myself a little bit of time to get into the room as well. It won't take them long to break that at all. Okay, here they come. Uh, since it's just the two of them, let's just do wood for the moment. Because, I mean, I, I'd rather not get the whole entire group. Well, look at you, Edgar. You're a, a very... You're kind of moldy looking, Edgar. <laughs> He's kind of moldy looking. Okay, where's that other stupid zombie? Why is he coming up this way? Over here, dummy. Well, I guess we can fight him from here, too. 
That works. All right, he did. I'm not sure why he passed that way, but he did. Let's go ahead and pull Big Mama. <laughs> Big Mama that sounds like Big Daddy. Let's see if we can get Big Mama to come over here. This is easier. Might as well break all of this glass out. No, she wants to go that way. Okay. I'm just going to upgrade this one level because it takes too long to break it. Big Mama, look at your dress. You got an arrow in your hand, Big Mama. Man, this baseball bat, you guys. I'm impressed. I've never really bothered to use it before, but I can see now that I probably should have given it a little more credit. I think packs a punch. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is that a spider zombie? I think it is. See, now he might be a problem because he could potentially crawl through here, huh? Well, you know what? If he does, we shotgun his ass. That's just all there is to it. All right, let's keep pulling these guys. Alright, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We have finally cleared the place. And we have no stamina. Uh, let's take a drink to help with that. We're going to have to put some points into 69er and sexy tea and stuff like that uh, for stamina. Okay, awesome. So we have cleared the entire house on the hill that's not on a hill. You guys are probably getting tired of hearing me say that, huh? So, yeah, we'll scrap that. Take this. Uh, this is all just off-camera looting stuff that I'll do later. I don't think there's anything special up here. Little cobblestone, stuff like that. Okay, so where we want to get to is in here. And this is the room with the fat loots. All right, so let's see. Let's start with this. Machine gunner, fully automatic, fires more accurate with each shot fired. Okay, oh, look at that, we got antibiotics too. Always welcome. And then, I don't think there's anything up there. Give us something good, game, give us something good. Like um, a fire ax, or an auger, or a purple stone ax. Yeah, okay, we'll take it. <laughs> game stages, you gotta love them. Maybe we'll get like an AK or something in one of these weapons bags because we have 762 ammos now. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Um, we're going to take 
Well, we already have one of those. We'll take that stuff and that stuff. This we're just going to scrap. Okay, let's check the weapons bag. Um, a blunderbuss. Okay. That can be like a backup to our shotgun. This we can put on our... Uh, our bat. I think. Yeah, good. I'll give it a little, a little more stun, potential stun power. Uh, ammo pal here. More shotgun slugs. Ooh, look at that, guys. Holy crap, man. Oh, no, these are breech slugs, and these are normal slugs. All right, we've got a lot of ammo for our shotgun now. That makes me feel good, because now we don't have to really be super conservative with it. We still have quite a few normal rounds, though, too, so we're in good shape all the way around. Let's grab this guy and uh, repair him. We might as well just scrap both of these. Here we go, here we go, here we go. What we got? Okay, not bad stuff. Uh, that does not give us any mobility or noise decrease, so we might as well actually wear it. In fact, if we have a... Well, I don't have a lot of duct tape at the moment. All right, this guy's locked. Now, I have... Um, I have three lock picks upstairs, so let's go get those, and maybe we'll luck out. If if we if we don't luck out, I've got a lot of banging to do, and that's of course something I'll do off camera. So what this does is this leads you up to underneath the porch of the main house, um, but you have to do you do have to break through. Man, I hope there's not any zombies walking around out there. We might have to also do this. Okay, we appear to be in good shape. Let's just close that for the moment. And I got a lot of stuff to drop off, so let me do that. I'll grab the lock picks. Wait, do we have lock picks? Yeah, we have three lock picks. Okay, let's grab those now. I'll get all this stuff dropped off and I'll meet you back down there. All right, we're back down here. We have three lock picks. Uh, we also have some skills, and I, I want to take at least the first point in lock picking, so that'll give us a little bit more of a chance. We have one more point there, and I think um, let's go ahead and throw this into sexy T. Okay. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. We have three chances. Nice. We got it on the first chance. Awesome. All right, what do we get? Oh, ammo, pipe bombs, scrap boots, crossbow bolts. Da, da, da. Oh, that's a nice find. That's actually a very nice find. Okay. All right, overall, not bad stuff. Uh, I was kind of hoping we'd get an AK, but overall, not bad stuff. All right, you guys, that is it for this episode. We are finally finished clearing House on a Hill. Uh, so that is now done, and we can start getting out and uh, doing some adventuring out in the world. Uh, we're, we're doing really good on shotgun ammo if you include all the slugs that we found. So I'm feeling good that we've got the, you know, the blunderbuss as a backup too. And um, yeah, I, I, I'm feeling really, really good with our progress. I'm going to see if I can make myself um, some padded armor. We, you know, we did find that, that uh, chest piece. Uh, see if I can make some padded armor because that's going to help us a little bit, you know. Plus, it doesn't slow us down or make any noise, uh, which is at this point in uh, the game where we're at, that's actually pretty important. I might do something to get back down here because we have a lot of resources, or rather, I should say, I have a lot of resources down there to, to get. Uh, find some safer way to get down there without having to come out on the porch because, you know, typically we would go out there at night time. But... I mean, I'm not really too worried about it, to be honest with you. Not super worried about it, but we'll figure that out. All right, so let's hop back in the house and close the door. It is now officially nighttime, which is uh, timely. Go back into the kitchen here. And let me bring up the, uh, the comments for episode three. All right, so we did not die in episode three. And that means that, so out of everybody that that's responded um, up to this point, 
Uh, Matt Crutch won is once again the winner. He also won. Uh, won. <laughs> he won. He won uh, from the last episode too. So Matt Crutch won is the only person who said I would not die at all um, in this episode. So Matt Crutch won. Thank you very much for your faith in me, my friend. You win 100 useless old guy points, but I hope you're enjoying <laughs> the contest and I appreciate it. And I appreciate everybody's uh, participa uh, participation in this. This is a lot of fun. So, all right, guys, I'm going to let you go here. And uh, next episode, we're going to plan on getting out and about in the world. I'm probably going to spend some time overnight going back down uh, into the bat cave and just harvesting all the resources and stuff that's down there. And then in the morning, I'll bring you back for tomorrow's episode. And we are, like I said, we're going to start going out into the world and checking things out, checking out the mod. Uh, I'm you know, we're still not at the point where we can just take on zombies at will, but, you know, we're, we're stronger now. We've got better weaponry. We've got plenty of ammo. So, you know, we're going to start taking the fight to the Zeeks for sure, uh, but, you know, doing it as carefully as possible. That is it for this episode. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you've already, if you've already subscribed. I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, leave a comment, like the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.